Hello and welcome back to Rage Gaming Videos. My name is Hollow and welcome back to more Elden Ring patch version 1.04 which has dropped obviously very recently and with that so many changes to the game in terms of balancing and yeah what is good now? What is nerfed now? Certain things were pretty damn good and then got buffed and it's like why but okay and then many things were desperately needed some kind of tuning and they did a great job. We've looked at five specific weapons that have been changed in in certain ways to make them much more relevant. Weapons that were good made better or weapons that were terrible made actually relevant and some that are just kind of crazy and maybe some of the best options you have in the game now. So let's get into it. To kick us off then, I have a really good pick for you. This is the God Slayer's Greatsword and a weapon that I feel is a great faith weapon, maybe even a little underrated. I really like the design of it, right? But it's the moveset. You've got a colossal sword, but it's got a unique kind of swingy light attack combo and then you still have the benefits of like the poke or say the jumping r2 with a big colossal weapon that is of course going to be great however it is true that weapons like great swords have really good ar compared to colossal swords for some reason you know with your colossal sword you've got better range but you've got way slower attacks you can end up trading more there are big downsides using a heavy weapon right so why were they not that much better than a great sword that's a question I guess from software I agree with because they've made changes to them. The two-handed attack damage of Colossal Swords and Colossal Weapons has been increased. Well, so while you're two-handing, you are getting more damage than before. They've also increased the attack speed of your two-hand attacks, which is very good in the case of all Colossal Swords and Colossal Weapons in general. And interestingly, they've also improved the physical block. So you're blocking with this weapon. It's actually gone up. Previously, we had 49 on the physical resistance resistance or negation and now we have 63 14 increases not too shabby at all and then that's across the board for your colossal weapons all of these things are really good but why specifically this weapon well ashes of wars also saw some buffs specifically the queen's black flame of this weapon i really like it has a one hit and then a two hit and then a follow-up which is awesome Really incredible. And then you have the black fire damage and that deals damage over time. That's wonderful. I think that's a great Ash of War. And I found it surprisingly effective in PvP for trading, catching people out. And then in PvE, oh my god, the damage it does was wonderful. This makes for a really fun playstyle. But now, they've improved it. So, it now comes out even quicker. And you can roll cancel out of it. So in PvP, if you do this at the wrong time, you can roll out of it. In PvP, you can do this first swing and hit someone, which often catches someone in trading, and then roll out of it. And this costs no FP to do. So I can infinitely do this and bait someone out in PvP, constantly fainting, which also in PvE makes for a great situation when you're dealing with, say, a boss and you're about to get hit, you maybe made the wrong choice, you wanna roll out of it, you can. That is such a good change, and it's so good to see that on a few Ashes of War. I want that on basically every Ash of War. Plus, I mean, the damage of this weapon as a colossal weapon, we're just under 900 AR here at 887, with Flame Grant Me Strength, and say the Fire Buff of Wondrous Physic. So from 887, we are now at 1132. That is big damage big damage and then you're doing the ash of war you're also getting the physical attack also getting the black fire buff and damage of this weapon it makes for some big damage 2000 on the first hit 4500 on the second hit and it is just racking up i would have gone to what 8k 9k with the dot damage build up if that enemy had enough health that is pretty respectable next up then one of my favorite weapon designs the legendary armament this is, of course, the Golden Order Greatsword, and I seriously love the design of this weapon. And actually, its Ash of War is incredibly cool. The established order Ash of War, it's this two-part attack, right? So you have this explosion, and then you have the whip, which fires out sort of a rune arc at range. Super cool. And I gushed over this when I made my original video about it. But admittedly, it is a, I don't know, it's a solid middle of the pack greatsword. It's fine, but that Ash of War, very hard to consistently land in all content due to its slow, slow animations. Thing is though, it's a mix of holy and physical damage. So we can buff that up with Flame Grant Me Strength. We can buff that up with Golden Vow. We can buff that up with a Flask of Wondrous Physic to boost holy damage. And our AR shoots up to over 1,000. 
Then you combine that with, say, the really powerful Establish Order combo, if you can get it in the trade, maybe, in PvP. It does work wonders and feels and looks incredibly cool. Well, it's been buffed, like I say. So the recovery time on these animations, right, where you're stuck in the animation, is shorter. So you can get out of it quicker. That's good for all content. The cast speed of the follow-up is way quicker, noticeably quicker. If we have a look at them, the whip comes out much faster. I do much prefer that. The damage of it is increased both sides, and it also causes enemies to flinch more. Here's the explosion. Here's the whip. Oh, yeah. Let's just try the whip from downtown. Send the runak out. What kind of range are we looking at? That actually reaches. Oh, my God. Let's go for another one. I'm even further away now. Can it reach? Yeah. <laughs> Nearly 2,000 damage on that. This is incredible. 100% I'm using this weapon. Such a simple buff, and yet, wow, yeah, really good. Next, then, is the Sword of Saint Trina, whose Ash of War, the Mists of Slumber, saw a buff. Its cast speed is now significantly faster. If you aren't aware of this weapon, it is a sword that has built-in sleep buildup, 66 at these stats. Then you use your Ash of War to spread out this mist, which causes sleep on a really high level or really effective level. And then your weapon itself, the sword, is going to be buffed up with a sleep effect. So like, say, Supaku with a bleed build, you have your baseline sleep at 66 still, but while this buff is active, it's actually much higher than that, quite like a coating. The main benefit of this buff then is the speed at which you get to do this attack, which is way faster. If we compare the two, let's say the old one versus the new one, we can see that it comes out significantly faster. Sleep is a really cool effect in this game in Elden Ring, and one that I've been talking about a bit more and more lately, and it's nice to see it get some love in this patch. So let's have a look. So one singular attack with the Ash of War, that's a sleep right there. And of course, when you sleep giants, you get a free critical. So I do have some talismans on to give me some benefits for that. But let's try with just uh, a single hit while buffed up. So the sword is buffed up. Let's try single hit. There's just one hit. And yeah, I mean, a proc. I didn't even have to use the Ash of War. It just has the buff left over and it's that much build up. With a weapon like this, you can absolutely dumpster and control the Godskin duo fight who are very susceptible to sleep. And that really helps that fight, that's for sure. But in my experience against plenty of bosses or enemies that are very resistant to sleep, they still get this mini stagger stun. And during that period, you can go to town on them. So yeah, the Swords of Saint Trina, the potential sleeper hit of this patch. I'm so sorry for saying it like that. Next, I have a confusing one for you. Um, this is obviously the Dark Moon Greatsword with the Moonlight Greatsword Ash of War on it. This is an incredible weapon. Um, one of the higher AR greatswords you can get in the game when buffed up with magic, when actually buffed up. Let me just show you. It's up to 838 when you're buffed up, which is always. And then you have the, the, the ranged R2, which does huge damage. Frost build up, magic damage. It's it's very strong. And then, you know, you can buff it up further with other buffs like I've been showing with other builds. But to get to the point, um, yeah, we have a build on the channel pre-current patch where we can make it so you're doing like 6,000 damage a single R2 or higher. It's absolutely insane as a weapon. And again, yeah, like one of the best intelligence weapons in my opinion. In this patch, they have buffed it in multiple ways. And I am honestly bewildered and grateful because it is cheaper to actually apply this buff, right? The cast speed is faster, right? So that goes out way faster. The actual range thing is nuts. You have faster recovery time so you can, you know, cast it and then get out. So if I just like tap it out rather than charge it, I can do it really quick. It's great. The frost buildup, because this is a frost buildup weapon, is higher during the skill duration, this buff. I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's one of the best intelligence weapons. It's really good. Now it's more cost effective. Now it's, you know, faster and just straight up more effective to use. And then you've got more frost buildup. So you're going to get more frost procs to deal damage. And as we know, frost procs, they make the enemy take more damage while they're debuffed. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more Moonlight Greatsword in PvP, which is going to be very exciting and terrifying. So I strongly recommend you pick up this weapon and give it a go in the new patch. Last but not least, we have an interesting one. The old grafted sword. This colossal sword called the Grafted Blade Greatsword, even though it's a colossal sword, is an interesting one. 
you can find it relatively early game at the Castle Morn, right? And it requires 40 strength to use. And it has this incredible Ash of War, the Oath of Vengeance, which buffs up all of your attributes, every stat, by five. And it even gives you poise as well. So this is wonderful. Oath of Vengeance is an incredible Ash of War. However, the baseline power of this weapon, for some reason, it was just really low. It was just really low. It was basically the same AR as a middle-of-the-pack greatsword, and it's a colossal sword. You've got slow swings, doing lots of trading, you know, you're making a sacrifice to use a big heavy weapon, all that kind of stuff. It's AR, it's damage, it's raw power. It's just that of a greatsword. Very strange. And they they acknowledge that in two ways in this patch. So as we know, as we were looking at the God Slayer sword earlier, we have buffs for colossal swords and colossal weapons. We have better attack speed. So yes, this is swinging faster, which is very nice to see. Your recovery time is better as well. On those animations, you can get out of them faster, which is also really nice to see. The physical damage of your attacks while two-handing a colossal weapon they're also stronger too. And yeah, the block rate's up. So we're up to, damn, 80 physical damage negation on this block. That is really good. That is comparable to quite a lot of uh, shields, actually. So we have all those passive benefits because this is a colossal weapon, because this is a colossal sword. We have those benefits. But they singled this weapon out in the patch notes. They specifically said increase the damage of the grafted blade greatsword that's so interesting they, they literally picked this weapon as specifically too weak alongside all of the other buffs to colossal weapons and swords so its baseline unbuffed ar is now 830 when we have the soft cap of 80 strength obviously i have 66 here but i'm two-handing it which puts me up to 80 so i'm at the soft cap 830 that is good it is reasonable it is middle of the pack colossal sword weapon i wouldn't say that is oh my god this weapon is nuts now i would say this weapon is actually good now it's gone from being well a huge disappointment confusingly weak to yeah solid a good colossal sword not a great one not an overpowered one but a good weapon a viable weapon and when you can get really early for running a colossal sword build with flame grant me strength as well as that oath of vengeance buff and two hand 1020 ar so you see it doesn't take much to get this weapon up to the 1000 mark and make it actually pretty stand out i'm happy with this change it makes sense to me like i can two hit the giants that we're testing other stuff on that's solid that's exactly what you're looking for with a weapon like this. Nice AR, good power, poise damage, of course, because it's a colossal weapon. You want it to feel meaty, you want it to feel strong, and now it does. So I'm happy with that. Compared to the other changes in this video, like, say, the Moonlight Greatsword, those feel insane. Those feel like top of the pack, ridiculous, confusingly good. This feels reasonable and logical and i'm happy to see it but those are five weapons that have seen some serious updates in this patch that i think you should consider and be aware of it's interesting to see say the saint trina's sword get that ridiculous power with the sleep i think sleep could be very fun in melee and pvp now great to see the grafted great sword actually be relevant and then yeah the other three my god are they good now it's going to be interesting to see how the meta changes in the next few days let me know your thoughts on all of this maybe you have a weapon suggestion for us to check out but until next time i've been hollow you've been you thank you very much for watching we'll see you next time josh cotton and hollow with the videos dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment yes i said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye